The readers themselves work by taking pictures constantly. We call this opportunistic acquisition. That's a paradigm shift from the way many iris reader manufacturers do it today. Everyone else uses what we call the say cheese approach. Competitors' readers will attempt to guide you into the perfect position, then take one picture for matching. In fact, some readers will even talk to you. Get a little closer. Get a little farther. Go to the right. Go to the left. This process lengthens the total transaction time. Transaction time starts when you approach the device and ends when you actually go through the door. The goal is to decrease transaction time and get people through very quickly and very accurately. Opportunistically acquiring images is the solution. Let's take a look at the iLock process when acquiring iris images. Once a good iris candidate has been captured, the image is encrypted and checked for liveness. The encrypted iris code is then passed on to the matching algorithm on the device. When the device starts the matching, it matches against a local database stored on the device. Finally, if a match is found in the database, the reader sends a message via Wiegand F2F IP or triggers a dry contact. This entire process only takes two seconds because the database is local to the reader. The database stored on the iSwipe Nano holds 50,000 iris templates. A local database has several advantages. One is speed. If you don't have to go over the network to do matching, then you don't have latency problems, among others. The second advantage is fault tolerance. For example, if your network administrator is working on the network and your network connection is down, it isn't acceptable to have your iris reader down. A local database enables the iris reader to keep matching. That scenario is really no different than your standard access control architecture, but that is different than many biometric solutions. Having the database local to the device allows your biometric architecture to match your access control architecture.